Hi guys, in today's video I have a special treat for you all. Today I'm going to share with you all my recipe for a cookie and cream barfi. You all are going to die and drool over this. So let me get straight into the recipe and show you how easy it is to make. So guys, to make this cookies and cream barfi, we're going to start with our powdered milk. And to that, I'm going to go in with some Nestle table cream or media cream. I'm also going to go in with some elaichi. Now, you don't want to add too much elaichi to overpower your barfi, but you just want to get that little hint and that little taste. Now, I'm not adding any ginger to this, but if you wanted to add ginger, you can. And I'm also going in with a little bit of ghee. And now I'm going to be using my fingertips and I'm going to be bringing this together. Now it's going to be very, very sticky. You know when you make barfi, it's always very, very sticky. Very, very wet. So I'm going to be mixing this until the moisture in here dries out. So it'll take me a couple of minutes and when I'm finished, we'll continue with the recipe. So guys, when you finish, mix it in. I'm gonna go ahead now and place this in my blender. I was just blending another batch of barfi. So I'm gonna be using the same blender and I'm gonna be putting this into my blender and I'm gonna be blending it. What it does is it actually helps me to blend or get it as fine as possible without having to do all of the work of sifting. So I'm gonna blend this and then I'll see you guys right back. So guys, in less than two minutes, I blended up this into a nice fine powder. So no more sifting, guys. If you using your blender, just make sure and do it in small portions because if you do it in big portions, it's going to clump to the bottom of the blender. Now to this, I'm going to go in with my cookies that I chopped up and I'm using Oreo cookies for this. And I'm just going to mix that in. Oh, this smells so good. So guys, I wanted to make this recipe as easy as possible for you all. And I know you all have a lot of trouble with that pag or sugar syrup. So what I'm using here is some store-bought simple syrup. Now you can get this in any alcohol store. You don't have to worry, there's no alcohol in it. But it's, it's a nice thick syrupy consistency. And now we're gonna add a little at a time to this mixture. Now you wanna add a little at a time because if you over add, you may need to add some dry milk to counteract that wetness. You don't want it to be too or overly wet. So as you put it in, you want to mix. And I put a lot of cookies in here, guys. I don't know if you all can tell, but I wanted tons of cookies. So you go a little at a time and keep mixing. I always like to go in with my hands and squeeze it. If it feels dry, then it needs more. But if it's holding together, then you don't add any more. So I'm going in to squeeze. And you see when I squeeze how it's holding its shape? That's what you want. You want to squeeze it and make sure that it's holding. So I'm not going to add any more. And I actually used three quarter cups in this. So guys, now to pour this out into my greased pan, as I said, and I did use ghee for this. If you wanted to use butter, you can. And now we're going to be taking the back of our spatula. And first you want to spread it out evenly. So you get a nice even layer when you cut it. They all look equal. And now we're going to start pressing this down. Gosh, guys, I took a little taste just now, just a little, and it tastes absolutely amazing. So this, I'm done spreading it. What I need to do is allow it to sit and set, and once it's done, I'll show you guys. Doesn't it look like granite or marble or something? It, it looks really amazing. It smells so good. So just imagine how nice it's going to taste. So guys, the 
cookies and cream barfi has set it's nice and firm so i'm gonna go in with my knife and cut this now i'm using the back of the knife so that i don't cut my pan so you can cut these as big or as small as you like and you see how pretty easy it is to cut not hard at all so guys, once you finish cut these up into squares, you're going to go ahead and go in. Now, all the, getting the first one out is always tricky. So I'm just going to press down with my spatula here. And try to see if I can get it out. Once you get the first one out, it's pretty easy to get the rest of them. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that goodness, guys. Wow. Oh. Look at that, those Oreos in there. Oh, amazing. So guys, I didn't want to hold on to this one because there are so many festivities that we celebrate as Hindus throughout the year and I wanted you guys to have this one just in case you wanted to make something different. Let me just bring it a little closer so you all can see. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. Just look at that look at that goodness this is going to be so amazing your guests are going to be so impressed and you guys saw how easy it was to make this so i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe if you did comment let me know down below if you like it if you're new to my channel and you like what you see i hope you subscribe thank you all so much for watching i hope you remember to like and share this video give it a big thumbs up and i will see you all in my next video bye